Hello, Telvani here, and today I wanted to talk about Supporter Packs and Kyrix Vault. I know a lot of players have been unhappy with the direction GGG has been taking Path of Exile recently, and as a result, they have been boycotting the new microtransactions that have been released. However, today I'm going to explain to you why you're actually just hurting yourself. First off, microtransactions make your character look cooler. This is just objectively true, and it's backed by scientific evidence and decades of case studies. Not to mention, 7 out of 5 focus groups just can't be wrong. Alright, so what are the benefits of having a better looking character? Well, if your character looks good, you are guaranteed to get a girlfriend, boyfriend, non-gender identifying life partner, or whatever. And this means you're 100% going to get laid. And I mean, just look at this Chad. Who wouldn't want to sleep with this absolute machine? Well, sure, maybe somebody with arachnophobia, or a fear of clowns, or you know, maybe just a fashion sense. But how many people in reality is that? Maybe 70 to 80% of the world's population? So, so don't worry about it. My previous statements still hold up, and they really make sense, especially if you don't think about it. So if you're tired of running around looking like a generic Poe player with your default tabula and gold rim skins, and want to start building lasting relationships in life, and maybe get some tail along the way, you definitely need to buy GGG's $90 supporter packs. The next thing I should mention is that buying microtransactions in video games unlocks access to the good drop pool. If you felt like loot is pretty bad this league, it's probably because you haven't bought a supporter pack yet. When you do, GGG flips a switch on your account saying, okay, this player has paid us recently. Time to give them better in-game loot to reinforce this behavior. And this is something that's just true universally across all games. For example, I used to play a lot of old school RuneScape. My friend Tim and I would buy bonds on that game, a form of in-game microtransactions, and within hours of those purchases, we would drop several Twisted Bows from Chambers of Xerix. For those of you who aren't familiar with RuneScape, we basically dropped three Mage Bloods within 50 maps after purchasing microtransactions. But hey, if you still don't believe me, Take a look at this clip of me buying some mystery boxes. I got a few interesting things out of them. However, less than five minutes after making these purchases, this happened. So as you can see, buying a supporter pack really is the best way to get ahead in Path of Exile, and just life in general. In case you didn't pick up on it, this was all satire. Thank you for watching, good luck with your league, and I'll see you in the next one.